day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back and I'm praying that you all are healed and whole. I pray that none of you have fallen to the pestilence. I pray that anyone that you know of that has been exposed, has been uh, contracted a disease, uh, that they, they, they recover. Let's, we will pray in agreement for the healing of our loved ones. We pray in agreement for the healing of our nation. For, we pray for an agreement for healing in this world system, this world concerning this pestilence. And we pray for the, the, the for God to deliver us. And, 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 and the delivering come in any form. I don't care whether some doctor in a remote area discovered a uh, vaccine or a cure. Uh, I don't care how God wants to do it. <laughs> Let's just pray in agreement that we can defeat this pestilence. We pray in agreement that we practice those or mitigate as much as we can the ability for this pestilence to spread. Let's pray for the hospitals. I just saw an article there uh, or a news clip saying Japan is overwhelmed for the outbreak they have in Russia. There's valid protests dealing with the virus. Uh, there's protests in our country where people say, let's open up again. Uh, and there's some people that actually believe that all this stuff has been hyped up by the media. Uh, some that sit there and say, this, it's not that bad. But I, right now, we were over 50,000 people in this country that have died. And, in the hospitals in this country, many of them in the spike areas have been overwhelmed by the number of patients. New York took the blunt of it. California dealing with it. Some of them, and the good news is we're here at least the major cities now. Hopefully some of the other ones like Washington DC and those are, won't spike too much, but at least New York is is flattened out and starting to do a decline and, and they're starting to take some of the equipment they needed and giving it to other states. So let's let's continue to pray and, and be consistent and, and tell people look this is real. You know, I guarantee you find somebody who's been through it. And if you want to go through it, if you want to take the risk of the being either part of the fifty thousand or part of the oh what, six hundred thousand people uh, infected uh, then you know then, then you can you you have your way but it's not a game it's real so let's 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 keep one another prayer let's get this thing over with and then if we go back and there's a lot of like I'm in Georgia they you know they want to start doing the phases to, to start getting back to work let's pray for we get the adequate testing that the facilities that you're gonna go back to work, some of you gotta go back to work soon. Uh, that there's this uh, ability for your companies, your jobs to be able to do testing, at least check your temperature. Uh, and then hopefully we start getting some of those uh, quick tests and test tests as much as we can uh, to deal with this. And we also, the World Health Organization, Say right now, just because some of you may have been through this, it just said there's nothing showing definitively that you're immune if you've been exposed to it. So, with that in mind, let's just keep praying for deliverance. So, why are we doing that? I, one of the things I wanted to do is we, and in support of being on one accord, uh, we we went into the study last week 
uh, on the 19th, and like I said, it's part C. And, and what we was talking about was the title. <laughs> it's just that is in the way. It was talking about the uh, the point where it's, a, it's very important that we actually uh, listen or learn to listen to God concerning what He wants us to do. It's very important for us to hear from God. Amen. So, so you've been sent to go preach the gospel. That means you really just live your life. Live your life by faith and knowing that you have been redeemed by God through Jesus Christ. And, and eternal life is a gift given to us through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want that for us to be in agreement and be one accord for the deliverance of this pestilence. Get it out of the way. Get it, be cast into the sea and never rise again. So we can get people and get our country back into a, a normal pattern of life. Uh, we got, we got to get, we try to get through this and then somebody said that, the, the, some of the scientists said that it could be a bigger wave in, in, in the fall. If, so let's let's learn and let's 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 pray for victory. Let's pray to overcome. But be in agreement, be one. And one of the good things we talked about, and the reason I'm talking about being one, is we looked at the uh, Genesis chapter 11, and I want to read that to you. I read at least one through four. I thought it was very interesting because we want to be a one accord on defeating this virus. And look at this in Genesis. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had bricks for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, who top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. They, they, they found a place, they wanted to build one of those urban areas right away, I guess like a big New York or something. And, and, and if you don't recall, I tell you, in Genesis chapter 1, starting in, like, I think, verse 26, 28, God said, go and replenish the earth. Huh? So do it and take charge of it. And these people, their mindset was, no, let's, let's not go be scattered upon the earth. Let's go ahead and just make a name for ourselves. And, and you, you sit there and ask yourself, well, isn't that what's going on in this world today? Well, the thing the difference is this world, this we have populated most of this earth, no question about that. Uh, but the piece that really should catch on it is that let us make a name for ourselves. Instead of understanding this, the name above all names. Huh? Let's, let's, let's make sure to understand that they're, they're those people in Genesis, just like we today, many of us, Jesus Christ, God Almighty, we, we, He makes the name for us. He builds a city for us. We come on one accord with His Word. See, that what makes us one is His Word. That's what makes us one. Jesus said in John 15 and 17, I have given them thy word. And if we, we abide in Him, and His words abide in us, you know, we can bear, bear fruit. We can have victory. We can pray for one another for healing. Amen? I pray for your healing. Pray for my healing. Pray for the deliverance of this pestilence. Pray for victory. We have a name under the name of Jesus. Under God Almighty. 
He who dwells in the what? In the Psalms 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadows of the Almighty. He that dwells in the secret place, we dwell in the spirit and the secret place of God to deliver us from the pestilence, huh? And from the noise and its destruction, huh? He is where we need to dwell in. His word is what we need to be in one accord on. That language of the word of God, knowing our victory comes to him. So I hope you enjoy part C. And remember, we can overcome as we listen, tune in to the word of God. Allow the Holy Spirit to communicate to you, to me. Let us dwell in that secret place. Because there, I have the all things are possible in Him. Huh? That's what I like about dwelling in the secret place. Because we're talking about Almighty God, having faith in Him. And like I said, those who don't believe, I understand. And, and, and you, you, therefore, you have to dwell in your own abilities your own power or the power of other people. You know, that's that's your choice. And you go ahead and keep doing what you feel like you need to do until you come to the conclusion that I feel is important. Is I rather put my faith in something greater than me and greater than everything else. It's called Almighty God. Through my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ being dwelled and connected together by a big body called the body of Christ through the Holy Spirit. God is with us. And let's continue to pray for one another. So I pray that you all can stay healthy. I pray that we have victory. Pray for those people that are in those hospital right now. Pray for comfort of those who lost their loved ones. Pray. Pray. Listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit. He's speaking. We just need to receive it. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself and continue to stay healthy and continue to pray and listen. Amen. God bless you. See you later. Bye-bye. Right here for Elder. Elder, what, what, what's going on here, Elder? Can you see it? Mm -hmm, I can't. This is Genesis. In the whole world. Read, read that. Yes, sir. And the whole world was of one language, uh -uh. and of one speech. Uh -huh. And it came to pass that they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, uh -huh. and they dwelt there. Yes, sir. And they said one to another, go to, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. Uh -huh. And they had, they had bricks for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Uh -huh. And they said, go to, let us build up a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Stop right there, Elder. Stop and, right there first. Don't go any further yet. Now, now, now. Hey, and then Brother Elder, what is that trying to say? What does it, what, what you get out of that? Because I, I, I was getting out of the fact is that the peer pressure, because what I heard was let us, let, let, let mm -hmm. us go. And and and, 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 and and now make a name for ourselves. Let, let us, right? And and, and and you know there's a problem with that because there's a big problem with that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the question know, is, what, they're, let they're, us... they're trying to exalt themselves and they're trying to put themselves in an equal place in heaven with God. Come on, brother, you're talking now. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to watch out for, Brother Jackson, is when we try to get into that group mentality, that, that mob mentality of saying, let us, as Paul said, let us hear from God is what we want to hear. Let us be what God wants us to do. Let us always line up with his will, his purpose. That's what you always want to do. That's what Christ kept saying. Christ kept pointing to the Father. Is that not, is that not true? Christ kept reporting to the Father, and that's what he wants us to do. We got to watch out for that. Let us go, and I'm sorry to say that, that, like last week, 
and the protests out there and stuff like that. Did you hear from God? Are you are you gonna did God tell you to say let's let's get our freedom to do what we want to do and put everybody else in danger too? Did 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 you hear from God? What well, what are you moving for? What are you protesting for? Did you hear from God? Okay, did, did, did they hear from God when the Louisiana pastor urges people to donate stimulus checks to the church? Hmm. Oh, did you hear about that one? Woo, no, no. Did you hear about that one? <laughs> I told you, to, I told the people with that money. <laughs> this is one of them same preachers that they got in Louisiana for their social distancing. Same guy, yeah. one of them guys. Woo. Oh, this is know. what he said. He said, donate it to the evangelists, Woo! North America. Evangelists who haven't had an offering in a month. Missionaries who haven't had an offering in a month. The music ministers who haven't had an offering in a month. He <laughs> said that. That's what, hello. Go ahead. I, I want, no, he said that. I know it. Look, and the problem with that is, Elder, and, and, for those big ministries, we talked about it last week. Yeah, they're hurting for some money right now. What they're yeah, supposed to do yeah. is do like everybody else. Hey, I ain't getting my paycheck. Yeah, I'm yeah. filing for unemployment. I don't care if we call it off or what, because it's still a paycheck. It's still a it's still a salary. Right? Yeah. So you you file yeah. unemployment. <laughs> you don't sit there trying to take the other people's money because they need that money mm -hmm. too. I don't know how much exactly. it is. I don't know how much it is. Well, I'm like this. Man. If your church big enough, you should be giving out money helping them. Yeah. Same. No, Amen. Same. Woo! The overhead in the churches is so great that it consumes the offering. And that becomes the, the issue. I mean, the salaries of the, the pastors and the associate ministers and the rest of the staff take the majority of the offering to themselves. And they really are hurting. Some of them are really hurting now because the overhead is like it's too much. And I think that, you know, we talked about the paradigm shift and we talked about the changes that are going to be made. I don't know if all these ministries are going to survive this. Because oh, yeah, people yeah. literally don't have the money to pour into the church anymore. They right. don't have a size enough to give. They are mm -hmm. trying to buy themselves. And so the churches are literally going to go liking and they may not survive this. And I doubt very seriously if the, um, the federal government is going to kick into this. <clears throat> I don't know what made they made, but I don't. I don't think they're going to kick in to offset the losses. Well, they, well, they think not. It's not the loss. Well, the problem, like I said, is the uh, the cost. You you just the far the big building as well as Sandy Valley small building. You you don't yep. need you don't need to cut the lights on. You don't need it. You don't need it. You you look. You don't need no paying for no bills right now. You need to sit there and say we. You need to shut it down for right now. Amen. I know world changes. Amen. World changes right now. And they got that big old dome that's paid for. And they may have mortgages, yeah. but I think it's paid for. When when I left in 1995, it was paid for. All they need to do is cut the lights off. Go into take the video at the home of the pastor. Yes, sir. And 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 pay for that little live video stream. It, it only costs like yeah. 40 40 some dollars, right? And, yep. and, and and reach out to the congregation that way. So you don't have yep. that overhead cost right now. And then those, those yeah, that, that musician need to file for his unemployment check. The the yes. choir, if the choir music musician he anybody was getting money, they can file for unemployment check. Right. But you can cut you can shut the cut the cut cut the power off at the building. Cause you don't need the building right now. What would you need the building for? You know how much money it's cost to cut one of those buildings on? Yes, Quite sir. a bit. Quite that, a bit. That's a lot of money. Shut it but down. It was, it was, yeah. I, I, I really think the ministries are being tried. They said that judgment will begin in the household of God. You know, right. I think this is a part of it. Right. You know, we the house got to get focused first. We look at the world system and see the direction it's going in, but it has an excuse. It don't know God. It don't know and God. And we're supposed to be that example that they can look to to see what God looked like and act like. Come on. But we lost our vision because literally we can't carnal mind it. Our, yeah. our, our desire was toward carnality. We, were, we weren't exactly chasing stuff that we could speak in the, in the coronavirus <laughs> virus would stop 
you know, accosting the people. Right. We didn't even trap that. We, we weren't trying to grow spiritually. Yes. We were I mean, we literally did not sow to our spirit. We sowed to our flesh. Yeah. And we were inspired to sow to our flesh. And there is no power in it. It said there's no good thing in the flesh. Come on. So now we're seeing where we've come to, and in an hour where there's a need, there's no response. Yes, sir. He said, uh, well, I talk about the president, you know, response to the, the to the need, but then the church has a response to the need as well. And we were held more accountable than he is because we had a Holy Ghost who is the Spirit of God working in and through us, but yeah. we have ignored his voice. Yeah. We have literally ignored the voice of God. And yeah. so now we've been put in a position where we have more time to focus on it. Right. Matter of fact, you remember a lot of people they could have said that <laughs> you come to the church, come to the storehouse to get fed. Right? Yep. Yeah. And then a lot of cases that, that, that was translated to uh uh spiritual being fed. But 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 also <laughs> it, it could be physically being fed, right? So so yeah. so the storehouse need to be set up to take care of people in the time of need. Yes. I think that's and why that Yeah, and I think well, that's see. why that Sir Joseph was about, right? Joseph was an example. Yep. Yep. God said something was coming, it was coming. But they were ready for it. Well, the, the, the beginning of this church, the 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 the, the congregation. Yeah. Everybody brought what they had, and it was dispersed. Yes, sir. Amen. To those who's needed, which is how it should be. Come on now. If, if you're gonna be a, a body. Yes, sir. Then that body should be self-sustaining, self-sufficient. Come on. And there shouldn't be no big eyes and no little you. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's what he's trying to say. Body of Christ. Right. I mean, I'm not gonna I mean, though though the food goes to my mouth, come on. it nourishes my whole body. Come on, brother. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know I'm saying Yes, sir. So uh no different than than the, the oil that was that was poured on air and it ran down from the top all the way down. Come on! Come on! There's that paradise so, shift Chris talking about. So, uh, <laughs> if if they're not gathering together to where they lift one another up, come on! Sustain one another. Come on! Then, yeah, there's gonna be problems. Come on! That's what he's. There's trying. gonna be problems, and then that just lets you know. That there is there there's something awry, there's something amiss in this system because God doesn't put together something that that that's that's there's there's disorder. Come on now. Come on. What does that say so about it? It should be able to sustain itself yes, sir. throughout time. <laughs> period. Exactly. The, the, the Oh, now, if it's so big that it begins to eat itself, Woo. Amen, man. then is that of God? Come on now. No. Come on. What's that scripture I saying? Know if, if, if God gives you a vision, he provides the provision. He does. But he gave you the vision and the provision. And that's why you got to watch out for any vision that doesn't line up with the word of God. And that's saying is that first, those verses one through four, Four is when it said, let us, not let us be led by God. Let yeah. us do what God tells us to do. Let us, yeah. let, let his name be the name above all names. Huh? They, they, they said they want to make their own name. You know, I, I'm, I'm from the ministry of such and such. I'm from the ministry, I'm from the denomination of such and such. No. I, I'm from the I'm from the body of Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lord. That's my affiliation. Yes, sir. Come on, yes, brother. Sir. Go ahead, Elder. Yes, verse sir. five. What verse five said? It said, "And the Lord God came, and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men build." And and that's the same thing as uh back in Genesis again, when 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 Aaron and Mary talked, God heard it. And God said, let me come down. <laughs> let me let me go talk to these people, right? So, so where is hey, my... I got a, I got a question if you, before. Go ahead. So um, for, for you, for you intellects that are listening, my question <laughs> is, so what we are doing with technology, right now putting all information, you know, at the hands of everyone uh, to the point that from a language perspective, you know, we've got these apps and things that can translate 
you know, all these various languages. Yes, sir. Uh, in a sense, are we not repeating history? Is my question. What, you what? know, I, I think we're living our, our nation, and that's that's what that, what God had told him initially was to disperse and replenish the earth. Yes, sir. The men came together, had a committee meeting, and said, "No, nah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna gather together and make a name for ourselves and build a tower in heaven." Yeah. So they literally rebelled against the instruction of God. Yeah. They sought another means of, of, of accomplishing. And I can't even see we're trying to come to God's will. Obviously, it wasn't God's will, but they were going to do it their way. They they became little gods, and they're going to do it their way. And I think what I had technology had given us, even we were relying on that now, we're saying, Lord, we need to pray to God and, and seek his counsel on this thing. How are we going to do this? We need to go to God for this plague. We say we need to do more research. We need to, we're need we putting all of our eggs in that basket. Um, we made an idol out of medicine. And instead of turning to the Lord, like with other places that have been uh, in in our in our time, we went to the God. I mean, to the, to the, our systems and to our technology to find a way around God, yeah. so that we could continue what we wanted to do. And that that has been the norm for mankind. We have always tried to find a way around God to be God. Yes, sir. What well, other thing he, too? Always, yeah. <clears throat> well. Uh, it's evident that there, there's there's some things going on to where we're 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 missing the mark. And uh, but as uh, Brother Antoine was saying to me, to answer his question, when God had us uh, replenish the earth, that was a, a physical replenishment. Okay. And now that that. <clears throat> this came and now we're trying to replenish the earth with with Christians with Christ like people amen so amen. that language is beneficial to replenishing the earth yes sir again with the okay. with children of God I mean God said that he wished that no man perish so uh the fact that we could speak to someone of a different language of God, of of Christ, and point him in that direction, I think is a great thing, uh, okay. that, that communication. Um, but it also, uh, like any good thing, there's always a, a, a bad component to it if it's taken uh, if it's used for bad, right. so all right, it's it's all in how the the resources is used. Just like medicine, I mean, Jesus may spittle and put it on the person's eye. Isn't that like a medicine? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and told him to go wash. It wasn't a a a divine healing. You know, stretch forth your hand. It wasn't a spoken word. Uh, it wasn't a Lazarus come forth it was a type of medication so every good and perfect thing comes from above yes sir. so we can't dismiss our uh doctors in in this medication and, and and stuff like that because it's it's god who gives us the mindset to use the resources that he's placed in this physical realm to benefit uh and to to heal and to uh and, and, and to uh, help in this in in our health, so that we could live and 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 point this world to Christ. Um, okay. The the other thing is, uh, you know, uh, well, go ahead. I, I kind of let, uh, let me lost my let, let, well, just, I think he because he's trying to compare what they did in Genesis 11, 1 through four. When they said letter, they was all in one language, and then, yes. but see, where they the mess up is, is this, in, in John 15 and 17, God, Jesus, I have given them thy word. In other words, even though you may have different languages, different translation, it's the gospel that has been given out. Not, yes. not somebody else's gospel, not yes. somebody else's, but God's word. Then, then the, the problem they had was, let us make a name for ourselves. Amen. Opposed to the name is above all name is Christ. Yes. Jesus. 
You see, it's different, brother. Uh, Jackson. Yeah, I do. That, so, so the media, this this media stuff is is good as far as communicating one another. But the main thing is, if we're sitting there having a fellowship now, which we do, and if the word ain't being taught, if the word ain't being used, we we we, we and we're trying to come up with our own words, our own language. Yeah. We out of order. All right, man. You ain't never. As brother that, elder would say, now you're preaching. Now you're preaching. So, God <laughs> said it's His word. We ain't trying to make a name for ourselves. We're trying to make the yeah. name and lift up the name of Jesus and God yeah. Almighty. That's the difference I'm saying here. So that's why God said, let me go down and see what what they built, yeah. not what I built. Let me go see what yeah. they built, because obviously, okay. Chris, they building something. That I ain't had nothing to do with. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. Come on no, now. Don't, don't use the resources <laughs> to try and replace me. Come on. You can't do that. Come on. You know I mean, I mean, you even get into the graven images. Come on. You know, don't don't build anything that, with that shape and, and call it me. Come on. You you can't you can't make me. You can't Woo. you can't rise to my level outside of Christ. Woo. You can't do it. You can't do it. Amen. That's what he's trying to say.